Okay. We are live. I had to switch up um, the link. So I'm going to send that to anyone that might want to watch. Uh, let me go to Facebook really quick. And I'm going to go to the event. I'm going to edit the event and then I'll comment. Google Hangouts is uh, an awesome piece of technology when it works. So, um, YouTube live link updated if anyone wants to join. Here is the Google Hangout link if you want to participate via CAN. And let me put the Google Hangout link in there, which is here. What a nightmare. Okay, I don't think anyone's going to join, actually, which is okay. Um, it says four people are going. I don't know if anyone will pop in or not. If they do, awesome. Um, if they don't, that's okay, too. Uh, close that. So uh, where should I start? Today I was on TPR, The Source, with David Martin Davies. Big thank you to him to talk about Ideas for COSA. We also promoted this event, um, which was really cool. I went on with Cynthia Spielman, who is a uh, president of the Beacon Hill Neighborhood Association. Really smart woman who uh, has been a supporter of this group. I had met her once before and uh, she's uh, a great person to know and, and now be friends with. And I was glad she was able to come with, a, uh, with me on the show. Um, let's see, maybe BK Richter will, will join us, which would be awesome. I'd love to talk to her. I've never met her before. Uh, yeah, so I had to set this up on my account, my personal account rather than the ideas for COSA account, which sucks because I want to start building the videos there. But what I'll probably do is just record this here and then move it over. I'll download it and move it over to the ideas for COSA account. Um, yeah, so big thank you to TPR. Really awesome that they invited me back on. I went on a year ago, which was a few months after I had started Ideas for COSA, and it was on a different platform at the time called IdeaScale, which is a, actually a really cool piece of technology, but it wasn't the, the easiest for people to um, to use. And there was you know, just the fact that you had to oh, join a separate website with a new username and password um, wasn't very helpful. Uh, let me post the link here as well google hangout link um so went back on a year later uh we had since moved to facebook the membership has grown quite a bit we went from uh 120 people on idea scale to about we have 500 people now so we passed we have about 507 people in the group now, which is awesome. And uh, being on Facebook has a lot of benefits, which I talked about on the show. Uh, it's easier for people to join, it's more accessible, it's transparent to anyone who wants to talking about, they don't have to go to another site. People spend so much time on Facebook as it is. Um, and then all of our leaders, our city council people, they all have public Facebook profiles. So we can say things there that they can't ignore. They actually get notifications when we tag them on posts. And then we can also use hashtags that people can find. We, I, I hashtag San Antonio quite a bit and people follow, follow those hashtags on Facebook and we'll see our posts as well. Um, so quick test. Okay, audio, got all my devices right. Um, so my idea for this was to create a citizen council and I wanna do it web-based because I've I'm interested in using technology for communication and, and meetings and 
I think more people could ultimately be involved if we integrated some technology into our city council meetings or citizens to be heard on, on Wednesday nights. Um, so I want to test this out. I want to play with the idea, see what, see where it could go. Um, obviously, I don't think the technology is as easy to use as I wish it was, um, which may be why some people, uh, why there's no one here. Uh, but this is also a bigger idea too that's going to take some time to ramp up. And this was really just a test for me to see, you know, a couple people were interested. I think people liked the idea, but I really wanted to test it out and just plan an event. And uh, my plan was, you know, if anyone doesn't, if people don't show up, I'll just um, kind of do a video blog. And then what I think I'll do next time is I will reach out to somebody um, or please someone contact me if you want to plan a time to do like an interview or a discussion like one on one, or maybe we get three people to do this. Um, that way we'll have, um, you know, some committed guests to come on. And then if other people trickle in and want to join the conversation, we can, um, we can do that too. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do next time. I'll reach out to some people and see, hey, let's do a let's do a Google Hangout and we'll record it um, and see what happens. So I don't know. I was gonna go through some things, some notes I took um, based on what's happened recently in City Council. Um, if you didn't know this, there is no City Council meeting on Thursday. I looked for the agenda, I couldn't find it on Legistar, and I figured. Um, that because Thanksgiving's on the 24th, they take an extra week off this month. And I talked to a city staff member who confirmed that. So as far as I know, there's no meeting on the 17th. Um, and I should have known that earlier, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> one interesting thing that happened recently uh, at city council is the planning commission appointments were put on hold, which, um, particularly interesting for me and for ideas for Costa Group because one of our members, Casey Whittington, was appointed um, to the Planning Commission, I believe on behalf of Mayor Taylor. And um, I know he was excited for the appointment and they, uh, they were supposed to vote on it either a week or two weeks ago and several um, council people uh, raised a motion to delay that decision because there is a growing tide of people who don't believe the planning commission represents the city the way it should, um, which I don't know if that's a fair point or not. Uh, let's see what BK Richter is saying. Uh, I'm not sure if I can join Google Links on posting here. Okay, cool. Go to the YouTube live page. You can make comments there too. Either way. All right. So BK is kind of following along. Thank you, BK. Um, yeah. So Casey, I know he was really excited to get appointed to the planning commission, but um, it sounded like there was there was a uh, at least six council people who decided to delay that vote. Even Robert Trevino, um, which some people were surprised that even he was um, against this, which um, I don't know, I won't go into that, but uh, I don't know. I think Casey's a good guy. I've met him once. Uh, he's been a good member in the community, shares things. He seems to care. He's a young dude. I don't think he's in bed with the developers necessarily, I, but um, and I would love to talk with him about it. I think he was kind of bummed out that, that it got delayed. I don't know if he was the reason it got delayed. I don't think he was. Um, but either way, um, people are being a little more critical of who gets elected to these commissions. And the planning commission is a big one because um, they make some big decisions on um, approving things and spending money. And I know the um, the neighborhood association sometimes butt heads with them because they, they don't feel like they're represented there. Um, so... I'm not as knowledgeable as I should be, but just an interesting note that one of our members who I kind of, uh, maybe I jinxed him, I posted about it and said, hey, Casey's going to um, 
be appointed tomorrow at city council, you know, congratulations. And it, it got delayed. So he wasn't denied officially, but there sounds like they're just delaying things. Um, another story recently was the city also delayed a vote to um, give additional funding to VIA. I believe it was like $10 million. And uh, I know Mark Turpak was pretty enthusiastic about this one. Um, he rides the VIA quite a bit. He's been very critical of VIA. He's also, I think, provided them with some valuable feedback right in our group. Um, he's made some really detailed posts about his experience, experiences riding VIA and what they could do to improve the uh, ridership, um, which is interesting. Uh, so Mark, and I kind of just followed, and I would love to hear more feedback. Um, his position was, you know, we don't need to they're not using the money they have um, so we don't really need to give them more money although he wants them to get more funding he would rather see them use the money they have more wisely um, and he thinks they could do a lot more even with that what happened at city council is some city council members and this sounds like i don't know how authentic these explanations are but a handful of city councilors um, are arguing that we should delay this vote because if we fund via with $10 million now, the state and the federal government won't be willing to provide funding to us, uh, to via. Whereas if we don't fund via, we'll have a better opportunity to get that state and federal dollars, which could be a lot more than $10, $10 million. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if that's valid or not. I know Josh Ball wrote an article and, um, I know on Twitter, he was a little perplexed by that reasoning. Uh, five city council members voted um, to take the vote and they wanted to fund VIA now. Um, and, and their argument, I you know Ron, Ron and Ray Saldana um, both kind of expressed their intent to, we need to fund this. And if anyone's trying to delay the vote, they just don't want to fund it. Um, and that's what it comes down to. So any delay is basically a, a no vote. Uh, one cool story out of the Rivard report was about um, the 2017 bond and the building of a skate park. Uh, Maria and her friends uh, all showed up at one of the parks and recs meetings and, uh, and really showed up in force. And I know supposedly her story was you know, well received and very influential. Um, and could influence the building of a skate park. Um, so that was kind of cool to hear about just seeing young people get involved in a process that seems very overwhelming and, and um, a lot of people don't think they can make an impact. And, um, you know, she's just a high schooler that showed up and uh, made a case for it. And it sounds like she might, she might get it, might get the skate park. Um, and then another thing we talked about on TPR along that line um, was the baseball, the proposed baseball field for McAllister Park. Um, the biking and, and hiking community came out, created a citizen petition on change.org and actually um, made quite an influence in, in uh, that, that baseball park got nixed from the bond. Um, so two cases of citizens getting involved, expressing their opinion and uh, having an impact on our community planning and, and where you know millions of dollars are spent and how our how our land is used which is really important um like i said uh no city council agenda coming up this week uh we are hearing since the election the presidential election is over i think we're starting to hear um talk about the next political races which is uh, the mayor, mayoral race and the municipal election in May. Um, mayor Taylor officially announced, I believe on Sunday, um, which everyone expected her to. Uh, I saw today that Melissa Haberda, Haberda um, announced, I saw on Ruby Resendez's uh, Facebook, she was Facebook living it. Um, Melissa is going to run in District 6. Um, for Ray Lopez's uh, vacant seat. He's hit his term limit, so he's out and Melissa's gonna run. I don't know who, I have no idea who she's gonna run against. I'm guessing there's someone um, 
more prominent that might be running against her, but I don't know. So we're starting to see people announce. Um, and I thought we could maybe look really quickly at um, how much city council is going to change. So I'm going to share my screen here. Whoa. Okay. Open Photoshop. Let's see if, yeah. And Wayne also commented. I don't think he's in on this. No. Okay. So it's like a city council. So if you remember last time on city council uh, in two years ago um, or a year and a half ago, there were no no seats changed on the entire council. Everyone was reelected. So everyone you see here is on their at least their second term. Um, and that's going to change a lot. So let's start with what we know is going to happen for sure. Uh, we know for sure that Ray is out. We'll mark that in green. We can say with like 99% certainty that this guy, Ron Ron, the water champion, Ron Nuremberg, will run for mayor. And I'm going to put Ray Saldana in that camp as well. All the rumors I've heard and all the speculation is pointing to him um, running for mayor this year. So it's likely going to be a three-way race, Ray Saldana, Ron Nuremberg, and uh, Ivy Taylor. Now let's think about who we know is going to stay in council. We'll mark that in red. We know Gallagher will likely get reelected. We know Cryer will likely get reelected. I believe Gonzalez has a firm grasp on her seat. And I believe Via Grandas. And I would also bet that Trevino will stay. So those could change. That's just speculation. We're just kind of having fun here. Uh, but I'm guessing the people in red will stay. Um, now, Warwick and Medina both have a, a good chance of staying as well. I'm not saying they're going to get voted out. But from what I'm hearing in the media and rumors, is they're the most likely to, I think, lose their seat in a contested race. Um, so I'm going to put them in yellow. So what this means is we could see, we're definitely going to see three new city council members, which I think is exciting to get new fresh blood on council. Um, that's the, light, the most likely situation is that we'll lose three, I think. Uh, and we could lose up to two more. So we could lose four or five city count, which would be huge turnover um, compared to the, the previous election, including we could see a new mayor if Nuremberg or Saldana were to um, knock off Ivy Taylor, which I think is unlikely, but um, they're, I think they're both going to put up a good fight and it, it will be interesting. So we could potentially see a ton of turnover um, in city council. And I'm going to stop sharing there. So up to up to five seats, half the city council um, could change, which would be interesting. Um, what else are we looking ahead to? Uh, I don't know. Thank you, anyone that may happen to watch this. Uh, thanks to everyone in Ideas for COSA. We have 500 I think 507 members now, which is cool. It's growing. I'm looking forward to more people contributing and starting discussions. I really want to push people to speak up, share their ideas. Don't be um, intimidated or afraid to just ask questions or share whatever you think is right. Uh, the beauty of this community and what I want to do with it is to be an open space, a safe space, if you will for people to share opinions no matter what they are. Um, and if someone doesn't agree with you, uh, that's an opportunity to learn from them and why they don't agree with you and hopefully to refine your position to be uh, better for everyone. And uh, collaboration is really the key in what I'm looking for. And I would definitely urge our leaders to step into the community um, we've seen uh, Roberto, we've seen Ron, we've seen Shirley, 
And I think that's it. We've seen those three come in and make comments in the community, which is encouraging. And I think um, as we get closer to the elections, they'll feel more pressure to engage um, citizens in those types of uh, forums. We've also seen, um, you know, reporters from Joey Palacios, Josh Baugh, uh, Stephanie Guerra, who's a blogger, uh, Becca McNeil from the Rivard Report has shared an article, you know, which I think <laughs> takes some balls. Um, uh, Josh has shared an article as well. I think Joey shared an article. It takes balls for writers to to share an article and subject themselves to criticism in you know in a forum that they don't control. And that's the type of um, courage that we should see from journalists and that we should see from our leaders too. Um, is is entering spaces where they can't control everything um, and the conversation is really organic and flows to whatever people want to talk about and care about um, so thank you to all of those people specifically thank you to awesome members that have uh, just made the the forum and the community interesting to be a part of and really informative for me um, i'm learning a lot as we kind of um, talk about these issues. And that's the point too, is I don't want people to feel intimidated, like they need to know anything to join. Um, and actually the, the, the more you don't know, and the, you know, the dumber questions you can ask, I think the better, because I think a lot of local government is misunderstood or not understood at all. And, uh, the point is that we want more people to learn about what's going on so we can be better informed. And ultimately, so our government can work the way it's supposed to, which is we're supposed to tell our representatives what we want um, and be informed about telling them what we want, not just complaining or begging for things. Uh, we want to help each other come up with ideas and plans that can really um, be implemented. Um, so that's kind of my vision for Ideas for COSA. Thank you again to everybody. If you listened on TPR today, awesome. If you haven't, you can go to the community. I'll probably pin that to the top for a few days. And then as it goes for the citizen council, I have to rethink this. So I'm not sure. I think a lot of people love the idea when I originally posted it, but I'm not sure how many people have time or are as interested as they, they said they were. So we'll rethink what we'll do with this. We may do, like I said, we may just do, um, ideas for COSA podcast or something and I'll schedule people to to kind of come on with me or whoever else wants to do it and uh, we'll go that route so I'll post this video it's just a basic kind of rundown of some happenings that we've been discussing in the community and things that have been happening um, around surrounding city council and city council's off this week the, I'm assuming they're off next week for Thanksgiving I don't, don't know why they wouldn't be that means city council will be back in action on December 1st. So we'll see um, if people want to have some type of meetup or hang out um, surrounding that. That would be in a couple weeks. Uh, and I'll, I'll reach out to some people and see who's interested. So anyways, thank you guys again. Cheers. Appreciate all the contributions, participation, and uh we will see you in the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash ideas for COSA.